But I think there's two people that you have said that you look up to as well, and that's Zlatan and Cristiano. What about them do you like so much? Um, uh, the one thing they have in common is, uh, is how hungry they are for goals. And uh, you can just see it on them uh, before every game when... Uh, when uh, I've been watching a lot of games and uh, when I was sitting back in Molde in, um, in uh, my uh, former club in Norway and uh, watching Champions League, you, you could just see it in, in Ronaldo's face that today, today I'm the man, today I, wanna, I will score goals. And that's, that's what he did, uh, you know. So uh, that's what I like the best, that how dedicated and how hungry they are to, uh, to succeed and to be, to be the man in the moment. Have you gotten to meet them or talk to them? And, you know, what was that like? Not yet? We need, we need to work on that. <laughs> work on that. We need to work on that so that you can, uh, you can meet them. Yeah. I promise we'll work on it for you. Someone else as well that is very highly regarded is Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. You've gotten to, to work with him. I know you respect him a lot. You know, what did you like most about working with him? And, you know, I guess the impact he had on, on your young career? Yeah, he. When I came to uh, to Molde as a 16-year-old boy, I uh, he uh, he teach me a lot of things from from day one. Uh, as you said, he was my my coach then, and uh, and uh, he teach me a lot of things. He was a striker. I'm a striker, and um, and uh, he has won the Champions League, and uh, that's also a dream for me. So uh, so uh, he's been teaching me a lot of uh, finishing skills and. Uh, small movements in the box and these kind of things. And then, of course, before, you know, the lockdown all started, you had, um, I suppose, a bittersweet Champions League tie with PSG. You had two amazing goals. You know, what did you learn from that tie? Yeah, it was, uh, as you say, it was a good uh, first uh, first leg, but the second leg was not good. So, uh, so uh, I learned a lot from these two games and... Uh, and uh, yeah, it's experience. You cannot. Uh, you have to. Uh, you have to be in the moment and uh, to live in the moment to uh, to get the experience. Um, that second goal, that left-footed stunner, it was absolutely um, amazing. I know Gio Reyna had said something that once you they see you in the box, everyone just turns their back because they know they know you're going to score. Was that you know where does that rank in some of your best goals? And it is. It does it come to you just that that easy as you make it look? <laughs> Yeah, I, as you say, it was a very nice goal. Yeah, and uh, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I uh, I enjoyed it a lot uh, to uh, to score that goal, and it was a fantastic night for me and my family. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm proud of that night. And of course, you had the the famous meditation celebration um, after when PSG imitated it. Did that bother you a little or nah? No, not really. I think. I think uh, they uh, they helped me a lot to uh, to get meditation out in the world and uh, to show uh, to the whole world that uh, meditation is uh, is an important thing. So uh, so uh, I'm thankful that they that they helped me with that. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+.